Daytime baseball here on MLB Network ought to be a good one here between the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Matt Boyd is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Detroit. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. So here's Joe Maurer. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Minnesota. First delivery to him on the way. Joe Bat explodes as this is popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. And now here's a look at the Minnesota Twins starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, we'll see if Miguel Sano can be a difference maker, as he often is. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Should be a picture perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. Boyd has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Max Kepler goes down for out number two in the top half. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now the pitch. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. And it's one and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Drilled on the ground is short. Iglesias is up with it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. Twins nothing. Tigers coming to bat. We're just getting started on MLB Network. Adalberto Mejia is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. First offering on its way to third. Throws in time, and that's out number one. A moment now in Motown to check out the Tigers starting lineup. Who's the one to watch Dan. Well Matt keep an eye on that number two spot. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Throw in time at first for route number two. Having third. Right Riding into the box Nicholas Castellanos. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Now started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Order go the Tigers. Still no score. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at the Tigers on D. And let's focus our attention on one of the most dynamic defenders in our sport, and that's shortstop Jose Iglesias. I want to tell one of our camera guys, do not take your lens off this guy because he is going to make a highlight reel play every game, and I guarantee something goes down today. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. 
boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. That is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. Behind 0-2 now. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Down go the Twins. So striding in, Victor Martinez set to lead off the home half of the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Chopped weakly to the left. Sano is there. Throw on to first in time, one away. Hey guys, let's take a look at the Twins on defense. And Manning's second base today is a guy with one of the quickest hands in the game. That's the name of the game over at second base. It's not about range, it's not about arm strength. It's about turning every double play for your pitching staff. Making the routine play and making sure every two is turned. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Stepping in, Mikey Matsu. Here's the first pitch to him. This is skied into short left center. Polanco has a play. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for Detroit. We'll move to the third with no score. A nice aerial look of downtown Detroit as we welcome you back to our MLB Network broadcast from Comerica Park. So here's Jay Cave to the plate. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Behind 0-2 now. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. In under the hands with a fastball, it's 1-2. and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And a fastball just a bit up. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Lifetime numbers against Matt Boyd. He's got five base hits in 21 at bats. He also has one home run. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Counts even two and two for Polanco. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Breaking ball called third strike as that catches the zone for out number two. At the plate, Logan Forsythe. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch. Jacoby Jones the next to hit. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And there's your first out of the inning. Batting eight. Second baseman. In now, Nico Goodrum. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike.
changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there out in front on that off speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. Got him to go down swinging there. Nico Goodrum becomes out number two this inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three in the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Joe Mauer. 0 and 2 to Joe Mauer. Oh, a tough pitch to lay off that time, but he got away with it. 1 and 2. You know, there aren't many guys that could just spit on an 0 2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out. Inside with the slider, two and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. First pitch of the at bat. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven K's and we're just in the middle innings of this one? If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Make it seven in a row. My gracious, he is simply unhittable right now. Two away. Into the box, Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Sky down the left field line. Mata moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied nothing nothing. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He threw first and hustling for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Nick Castellanos now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And they're going to call this a home run. And now hold everything here. We're going to have a conference down that first base line. As there may be some discussion as to whether or not this was really a fair ball. And you can see the umpires pointing down the right field line. We may have a situation here where they'll need to go and review whether or not this was really a home run. And that's precisely what's going to happen as we'll give you a look on our monitors here. All right, the review looks like it's over. Was there indisputable video evidence? Yes, it's a foul ball after all. So take the home run off the board, and there's an instance where the video review got it right. 
Candelario. The runner at second with one away. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So striding forward now, Victor Martinez, runner in scoring position with Sukhan. From the stretch. Rounded back up the middle. Polanco on the grass. And a fine play there up the middle. May have saved a run. Ready now. Miguel Sano. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie. But instead it's a foul ball. Strike two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Iglesias is there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Tyler Austin. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. One and one the count. Popped him up. Aducci moving to his left. And that's the second out of the inning. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go right there. A big goose egg in that hit column. Worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Hard hit ball to second. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Bro gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. So stepping in, Jim Aducey was a strikeout victim in his first try. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings. With no score, you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The left fielder, number at the plate, Mikey Matsu. He flew out in his last at bat. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. Wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Uh, Jacoby the Jones, the next to hit, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Bouncer up the middle. Polanco fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. 1 and 1. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Misses for the second ball. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Castellanos shading to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Standing Jorge. in, Jorge Polanco. Jorge. First time Jorge. up, he went down looking. Swing and a liner. And that's the first hit in this one for Minnesota. The throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Wow, I was starting to wonder if we had to go on no hit alert, Dan. I know you were privy to that. 
sixth inning right here they finally break through with their first hit of the game and, and you have to wonder Dero this guy had been cruising all along going into this sixth inning we'll see if he can be able to buckle down right here the sixth and seventh innings are normally the toughest inning for a starting pitcher so we'll see if he can minimize the damage now and that's in there base hit now a long throw home and not in time as the run scores. Boy, some really good pitching going into the sixth inning in this one. Big RBI base hit to break through. What a pitcher's duel this been. Yeah, Dan, the pitching's been great, but something I've been focusing on is how great the defenses have been on both sides. To push a run across in the sixth inning, let's get the bullpens fired up. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. How about it? Why Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Good arm action on the circle. Chain swung on and missed. Going two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Max Kepler sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Forsyth at second. Maurer at first, two out in the inning. A ball and a strike. Strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So it's a digging in the switch hitter, Nico Goodrum, to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Heading after it is Kepler. Makes the play one away. Now in the box, James McCann looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here comes the 0 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket assassin. Got him swinging on the fastball there. James McCann goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Ronnie Rodriguez will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Rodriguez stands at an even six feet tall, a right-handed batter and thrower. This is his first year at the big league level. Hot shot to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ronnie Rodriguez will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Here's Miguel Sano. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Ball one. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious he didn't get a strike there but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in missed with a breaking ball and he struck him out and there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game first offering on its way and there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. The 1-1 home. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, after being late on a fastball there, it looked like they did him a favor. 
Yeah, Matt, that's surprising right there. I don't understand that pitch sequence. He blew the fastball right by him, sped up his bat with the off speed, and got hurt. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left. Ready once again, Jimer Candelario. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Riding in, Nicholas Castellanos. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he takes ball one. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Here's a fly ball well hit. Cave on the move. Two gone. Ready for another shot now. Victor Martinez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Martinez around first and head for second now. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two out double. Coming to the plate now, Jim Adusi, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. A late swing at a slider for a strike. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Kepler is there to make the catch, and they'll get out of this with the lead. Now to the plate, Jake Cave. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Oh, and one the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 oh and 1. Popped him up. Rodriguez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now Stepping in. And Jorge Polanco, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Buck Farmer gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Number 45, Buck Farmer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A high fastball is in there. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Final line there for the Detroit starting pitcher. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Missed with a slider. One run, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. And he strikes him out as well, so make it back to back punch outs here. Next up for Detroit, Mikey Matsu. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The bouncer to the left side. On to first, and it's dropped. Luckily for him, though, there'll be no advance. Boy, this is an absolute gift for them, especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can to get some offense going. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gun. So a crucial moment here in standing in. Nico Goodrum. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. 
Hit on the ground to third. Sano has it on the first, and there were two down. Riding in once again, James McCann. He went down on strikes last time up. Grayson Grenier will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 17. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. He's working on bringing home the tying run standing at second base. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that will be ruled a strike. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one... Grayson Grenier will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now he's ready. Here's the first offering. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Oh, and two now as Maurer can't come up with anything on that swing. And a swing and a miss at the curveball. A great pitch call there, and that's the first out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with it 0-2 count. Strikeout here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. When a hitter is showing he's and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Into the box now, Ronnie Rodriguez. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Legs churning, he's headed for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. The relay throw, and he will get there. He's in at third as the tying run with a leadoff triple. I think most guys are probably content with a double in that situation. Leading off the inning and representing the tying run, but he was thinking three bags all the way. Now all they need is some good situational hitting to drive him home. Trevor Hildenberger takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. First delivery to him on the way. Hit back up the middle. Nice slide and stop by Forsythe. The tag safe. Nick Castellanos now. The winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Victor Martinez. The winning run at second, however, the double play in order here. Here's the first pitch. Hit down the line at first. The second for one on the first, and Martinez grounds into a double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for.
Next will be the designated hitter, Jim Adusi. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. 